name's Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for Leo. Let's call in spirit with some wind chime time. Leo, I hope you are having a wonderful day. I got out and enjoyed the sun for a little bit before coming in to do a reading for you. Thank you so much for blowing up one of my videos, Leo, and for all the likes, subscribes, all that stuff. You're the best. All right, we are going to start off with my new favorite <laughs> situations deck, and then we'll move over to the tarot to get some clarification after that. The first card out, mmm, memories. So we may see the Six of Cups come out later, but we've got somebody here who is thinking about another person from their past and probably contemplating a return. It is Mercury retrograde after all. And they may have been writing and rewriting con like a text message or an email to you or trying to figure out what they're going to say to you. So we have denial in the reverse. So that's a good sign, right, Leo? I think that means somebody here has a good understanding of what they're looking for because we also have done, lesson learned. So this could be about love doesn't have to be. I feel like it is for the majority of you, but somebody here is no longer going to be susceptible to people manipulating them. They have a better grip on what they need in order to be happy. So we have some hidden energy that is really creepily tied to the card that just came out. <laughs> so, this came out in Chapman. And the first word on here is pregnancy. And then for hidden energy, children. So, Leo, if you don't want children, do things that make it so that you don't have children, so that you don't have children. If you want to have children, have the right kind of conversation so that everybody knows that you want to have some children. Because the whole like entrapment vibe. That ain't it, okay? That's not cool. Nobody likes a surprise that, you know, dictates the rest of your life. <laughs> so, I guess we'll just, um, we'll just say that there maybe was a lesson that had to do with somebody trying to trap somebody else. It doesn't have to be a baby. That kind of seemed pretty likely, though. So then we have commitment. All right, so this could have a few meanings here. Somebody is trying to entrap another individual by getting pregnant in order to have a commitment. Or somebody's already in a relationship and another person is trying to entrap them by getting pregnant. Oh, the drama. What else do we have for Leo, please? Hmm? We have waves and crushed in the reverse. So the memories, like I feel like they're very positive memories, probably in a romantic vibe here. They're coming in waves. There might be opportunities to kind of drown them out by being busy, but at the end of the day, this is something that keeps coming back for you or your person. And then we have crushed in the reverse. So I feel like at one point we had somebody here who was feeling really sad didn't really feel like they could do anything like constructive towards the situation, this void that they felt. 
but with it in the reverse, I feel like either talking about it or writing about it, something here is helping this person move through this pain. If that's you, um, good work there, Leah. I'm really proud of you because that's not an easy thing to do, right? But that would make sense because we have lesson learned here. And then we have single. So when somebody faced the truth, they ended a relationship. And I feel like this happened right when that person was about to confess, but you had already figured it out, so it didn't really matter that they did that because with love affair in the reverse, there wasn't, there was no secret here. You already saw this coming. And then we have TikTok in the reverse. So I feel like that spirit telling you that you have plenty of time in your life to be in a long-term relationship. I don't care if you're 60, you got time, right? Like take time for yourself, make sure you're doing what you need for healing to make sure that, you know, you can look for happiness in a healthy way instead of a codependent way. We're going to use the tarot familiars to clarify for you. What else do we have for Leo, please? Okay. So we have the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Magician, and the Chariot. So the Ace of Wands is all about new beginnings. Whoever this person is that you're thinking about, it looks pretty positive from my point of view. With the Queen of Wands, this is somebody who has been through plenty of their own struggles, but they have overcome those struggles. They are probably being seen as uh, particularly like attractive or alluring because the queen of wands is definitely somebody that like draws in the suitors right you may have like seen like a picture or just like heard like yeah she's looking fine and then we have the magician here to clarify single somebody has mastered that concept of I can do whatever I need to all on my own. I don't need anybody. I don't need to be in a partnership to be successful or be happy. So I feel like you've learned or taken this lesson from some something outside of yourself, a mentor or a good friend, and now you feel like you have it down, like you got it. And then with the chariot, clarifying verge, Like you were already on the way out of the door when somebody was like, wait, hold on, let me tell you. It's like, I don't really care about your truth. Um, my truth is that I, I'm not gonna be here anymore. So you can take care of whatever that issue is on your own, because you weren't honest with me when you had the opportunity. You decided to wait, so ta-ta. So we have the knave, which is page of cups and the hanged man in the reverse. Yeah, so there was nothing here that was like, I need to decide or like I'm being vague, like this was all very clear to you. And then with the Page of Cups, this is making an offer. So there's an offer that you want to make or that you want to receive, but there's no hurry here. So don't, don't feel like you need to rush anything. What else for Leo, please? So we have the Hermit and the three of the wa three of Wands in reverse. Don't wait for an opportunity to get some time to have you know introspection, healing, um, time in nature. Just do it. Make time for it. It should be a priority for you, and it's going to help you bounce back. To um, honestly, it'll help you get 
to where you haven't been before. Like you'll feel stronger than you did before. Four of Cups here is just saying you have felt empowered by taking ownership of this truth and rejecting the situation that wasn't right for you. It's feeling like justice for you. I'm proud of you. Good work. And then to clarify the hanged man in reverse, we have the seven of pentacles. You reap what you sow. If somebody was being dishonest here, which it looks like with entrapment, they are now feeling the pain of doing that dishonest bullshit. Yeah. They're going to have to start from fresh now. Like, they've lost stuff for being a twat. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the reading today, Leo. Thank you again for all the support. Have a wonderful rest of your day.